Well, um, first, I'd just like to thank you for taking the yeah. time out of your busy schedule to do this election programme. So. You, you won the competition, didn't you? Yeah, and, yeah. And you, what, you were in uh, one of the House of Commons uh, rooms, did you? Yeah, we had an election. Well, actually, um, each week we had to do a challenge yeah. um, based on something like public speaking, um, yeah. etiquette. And then um, each week someone would get evicted. But then in the That's final... Like Big Brother, is it? Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that you knew Big Brother, but... Is it? I'm not, I'm not that <laughs> What's, Do you watch Big Brother? Or? Uh, not as much as perhaps other people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I know, I know about it, and I know, I've seen some of the, the things. But So did one person get evicted every week? Yeah, one person got evicted every week. Um, then there were two people in the final, so it was me versus someone else called Hazel. Yeah. And then a hundred children had to vote. Oh, and voted by children? Yeah. Yeah, by children. And uh, someone said you did a lecture on Dolly the Sheep, is that right? Yeah, that was in Scotland. You, you, You're you, from Scotland, aren't you? Yeah, the guy, were you at Edinburgh University, where Ian Wilmore does his research? He's the guy that did Dolly the Sheep. But the guy that, did, that actually did the research on Dolly the Sheep, he's got a, a big laboratory in, in Edinburgh University, and he's, he's moved from, if you like, looking at sheep to looking at sort of what's happening to human beings. <laughs> oh, OK. And uh, he's got this uh, research facility very near where Sarah and I have got this uh, involved in a project to, to look at what's happening to children and, and um, mothers. And uh, he's a great guy. He's a great guy. I mean, imagine that that research was done in, in, uh, in Britain. And so yeah, what did you speak yeah. on the last and time you spoke at the House of Commons? Um, at the House of Commons, um, I presented my three policies and my fund yeah. policy. And then after that, Jonathan Dimbleby. Hey, he's good. He's yeah, good. he is. <laughs> well, actually, in the house, he wasn't. He was like, was he was quite tough? harsh. Yeah, yeah was, I, I was, was scared he's, of him. He's tough on me as well. <laughs> yeah. well do, um, do you ever listen to so any questions? When I, I want an, an education system where everybody can go as far as their talents take them and where there's the support and, uh, and really the encouragement uh, that people's aspirations are high and they can, all, they can be met. Uh, but it needs great teachers. It needs really committed, uh, uh, you know, school staff, great leadership from a head teacher. It needs parents, I think, to be supporting the school and supporting the, the children. And where that doesn't happen, we've got to do something to make that make that better. Mm. Uh, and of course, it needs um, it needs a sort of sense of uh, aspiration, you know, that uh, that I had. My, my, my school motto was, "I will try yeah. my utmost." Yeah. Well, these are the great these are the great mottos. Yeah. This was Latin. I will try my utmost. I will strive my utmost. Yeah. You've got to do it to your best of your ability. And what we've got to do is create the conditions in which people have the chance to flourish. Yeah. And everybody's got a talent. It's not always in the area where it, you, you think it might be. You know, yeah. I, wanted, I wanted to be a great footballer. Probably you want to be a great musician as well, do you? Or basketball it, player. Yeah. Or but, you know, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't good enough at that. But you've, oh. you've got to find and your... you play rugby, don't you? I played uh, a lot of rugby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably too much. Oh. And, and uh, I got injured. But the, 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 the issue is uh, helping everybody... Uh, realize the talent and that's that's what schools should be able to do so I think okay. uh, I think you need um, the best um, uh, teachers and the best leadership in a school and you need the encouragement so mm -hmm. that you can discover what your talent, your talent so would you say it paid off because you are prime minister would you say it paid uh, off I don't think it was <laughs> the, I, don't, I don't I don't know the I mean I'm really grateful everybody remembers the the teachers I mean uh, Okay. And I can remember my first primary school teacher, and uh, okay. you, you know when uh, Sarah did a book about um, about um, uh, uh, about who was the greatest influence on on famous people's and other people's lives, yeah. uh, not your parents, who else? And almost everybody, the majority said the teacher. The, uh, one teacher had influenced them, mm -hmm. so I benefited from having great uh, teachers, uh, and so do I think do do most people. You probably know. Of Teachers that really had a great, yeah. in, great influence on yeah. you, so that 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 makes a difference. And uh, and but, um, uh, at what age did you know that you wanted to go into politics? Because I mean, I've been feeling the same way. People have told me oh, you're going to be prime minister one day. What, at well, what age did you know? You, you want to try out the job for a day, do you? <laughs> maybe in a few years' time, maybe. We'll let you deal with one of the, the financial <laughs> crises. <laughs> the the the. Um, I, I never. I, no, I actually wanted to be a, a university lecturer for most of the time. Oh, okay. And I was uh, studying in that, but um, my brother was very much involved in in raising money for for charity and doing things when I was young. So I was much involved in that as well, and sort of gradually, uh, sort of okay. to get involved in uh, in uh, politics. So okay. It seems something worth worth doing. I don't I don't think there's any point in being in politics for the sake of it, to be honest. Okay. Uh, it's only worth worthwhile if if you've got something you want to achieve, if you've got a purpose, uh, okay. and you know it's. Um, 
uh, you've got to you got to uh, you've got to be clear what you want to achieve. Yeah. And I think I think you've probably got a clear idea of that. Yeah. Well, you've already got a manifesto, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> what do you do in your spare time, and what do you think is the best thing about being prime minister? Um, the best, well, I suppose we don't have much spare time. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But uh, watching football on television, I, I <laughs> going sometimes to the theatre, watch films. I really like watching new 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 films. Yeah. Uh, but uh, most of all, yeah, we've got two young children. So. Okay, should I end it off then? Like Wh whatever you want. Y you're in charge. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So thank you, um, Prime Minister, for taking can the time to do. You call me Gordon, please. Oh, I can call you Gordon. I, I can call you Quincy. Okay, <laughs> I'll call you Gordon then. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Gordon, for uh, taking your time out to do this interview. Um, so I'd just like to thank you. And well, um, I hope to to be back here well, someday. So. Well, best, best of luck in everything that you do. Okay. Uh, it may not be long. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good okay, to see you, Quincy. You. Thanks okay, very much. Thank you. thank you all very much. Okay. This is where you've been. <laughs> okay. Let me give you an idea. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Good to see you. I'm good, I'm Zoe. How are you getting on? I'm good. Can I just get a okay. quick picture of you guys? Okay, that's very nice. Without okay, without the book, just... You don't, you don't need the book. Okay. So okay. You, you can do oh, it thanks. nice oh. later. Can you get a handshake, please? Yeah, okay. Uh, perfect, two steps. Fantastic, lovely. Lovely, just come on. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Okay, nice to meet you. That's right. Yeah, we were Bob talking about Bob Geldof. Geldof was there. We were yeah. backstage. Going, oh. Was he not swearing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you were covering my ears. That's right. I remember that. But it was a great event, wasn't yeah, it? Was, yeah, not many people do it, but it's a really I'm surprised good. he doesn't want to be a television uh, uh, host. host. But it's funny, because I was 